Hi guys, my name is Eric, and today we are unboxing Arlas Ultra Trino. Let me get him. There he is. No information on the back. Just writing. Magic Shield Helix. Let's get into it. I'm, I'm so excited about this one because I don't usually do artless because I'm a pirate darkest. Get the list out. Get the rule sheet out. Whoa. I didn't open it. Whoa. I didn't ever open a when ultra pack. My first time. Let's get to the cards. No, they put plastic. I got it. Three hundred B power. Three hundred B power. Six damage. Get these three cap work to cards. Not English. It's not English. Okay, get these ones out. Ferris Charge. Stop non Arlas. Let's get. Okay, I'll just put them on the floor. I don't need them. He's so round! Even in the package, he's so round. Let me get out of here. Oh my god, I have to be gentle so I don't break him. And I don't have to break him. Okay. I can just. Well, I have to get it from this side. Oh my god, I'm trying to not break it. I got it. He's so round, even out of the package. He's so round. Okay. His mouth is spring loaded. Get these out of the way. Okay, I'll, I'll close them. So, the way you close Trina, you put his horns in. Then you put the front legs in. Then you put his head in. Push the head in. We have to hold it because it doesn't. Okay, it does click. And let's basically hold it like that. Then put the black back back legs in. And then put his tail in. Okay. I've done something wrong here. Let me get him back closed. Quack in. Okay, so you bend the, the tail in like that. And then you put. Oh my god. Keep getting things wrong. Finally closed them. Oh my god. This is so cool. Okay, let's see the box of course. Ooh, magic shield. I didn't have any of these yet. And it's powerful. Plus 650 beat hour. A, a DNA core. Minus 200, minus 2 damage. Get it on the field. 
Now let's see his rolling action. What's his magnet? He's on there. Okay. Bakugan Brawl. He didn't flip over. But it's still cool. I mean, he's, he's not. Wait, can he pick up two quarters? Let me check that. He can, but you just have to pick him gently. Okay, that's a this is a good box, but I might run him in, in a deck. I might. I don't know, I might. Actually, I'm, he's a really good barking card. Yes, he is. Put him into a ball. Oh my god, that deck did not close. I'm gonna leave him open. Okay, turn to the side. Now let's check the list. Oh, sure, it's bigger. Whoa, whoa. This is a new, biggest, the new list. The, this is an enormous list. This is the instructions on how to close them. Let's get this list out of the way. Is the battle is the rule sheet the same? The same. Don't care about it. I like, don't care. It's not important. Look at this. I'm gonna roll him again. So close his horn, put his back legs in. I think I did something like you know. <laughs> Bend the tail and put it in, click it in. Then put the front legs in. We have to hold that bit. Hold the front legs, then push it together and then put the head in. Wait, let's see what happens if I roll him backwards. Okay, he doesn't flip. I have to try to put more power when I use the pivot shoot on him. Okay. Okay, I have to try to put more power. He flipped off. Let me get that fucking core. I have to put more power in it so it, cre so it can have enough moment to flip over. He doesn't flip over. But if he does do that, if he does stay on like that, he might, he does get double core, so I, I might run him in a deck. Yeah. As I said, I might run him in a deck. I love this way. It's incredibly good. Subscribe, like, comment. Ring the bell icon. This has been Arlo's Trying Unboxing, and I will see you next time. What?